Hey, party people. What's going on, Krusty Crew? I'm here with Ross. What's going on, Krusty Crew? And we're about to go to the Lego store to do some Lego shopping. Crazy, I know. There's a few things that we really want to check out and hopefully they have them in stock. We didn't really check. We were honestly just nearby and we were like, let's go Lego shopping. So the Republic fighter tank, we only have one, but we want more. Their purple clones are really cool. Purple clones. So, purple clone height. Purple drink. Purple drink? It's an internet thing. So yeah, purple clones, definitely on the list. There's also new build a minifig parts. Oh yeah. Which is really exciting. And then of course, Pabbers. They've been really like circulating it very frequently recently. The shield pieces, those are really cool. Those came in handy, the shield tiles. It was kind of a bummer. The weekend they apparently had gray masonry bricks. We just like had family in town. We couldn't go. Sorry. We had heard about it and then we went like a day or two later and they were just gone. So I might ask and see if they have any more masonry bricks. Sometimes they get like other shipments later on. So wish us luck. I'm really excited. And there's also two gift with purchases. It's like the space cardboard cutout one and then like oh, the yeah. monkey playground the, thing. The monkey bar. So hopefully we can like qualify for those. I think it's a purchase of 90 or more. No, 160. I think it's 160. I don't remember. There's signs inside. We'll check it out there. But yeah, let's head inside. Subscribe. I was actually at the Lego store pretty recently, actually. Surprise, surprise. Showing my new friend in town, Jean, at the Lego store for the first time. She's like into Funko, but not Lego. And so I was like, well, I have to show you this whole new world of Lego. She was pretty overwhelmed, but it was fun. I just feel whelmed. Not over, not under, just whelmed. It's hot, Texas. It's really hot out. Woo, mall. Oh, and Starry Night just came out too for VIP uh, members. I have it, you know, but I love it. It'll be cool to see it in stores. It's always just like nice seeing the new stuff on the shelves. But then June 1st, Optimus Prime, we will definitely be at the Austin store on release day to pick up that one. I think that's the only thing really coming out June 1st that I'm like really interested in. In one Starfighter. We did get that set from Land and we built it already. It was really fun. It's also bigger than you would think. It's like a lot longer than I expected. We were trying to display it the other day and it was kind of difficult, but it's a good set. Alrighty, the Lego store Ross, are you excited? Always good. Whoa. So these are super cool. I love the trans blue pieces. They've had this one on display now for maybe like two or three weeks. So I'm excited for them to switch it out, but these gears are pretty cool. All this is over there staring into your soul. Oh, and then on the other side, they have Starry Night. Check this out. It is so pretty. We haven't hung it up on our wall yet, but we're definitely going to. We moved into our house like a few years ago and we still haven't really hung up paintings, but starting to do that finally. So this will definitely be on the wall as well very soon. I was also able to interview the fan designer as well as the official Lego designers for this set. So stay tuned for some content about that very soon. Over here we have the land speeder. It looks really great. Ross actually just put this on display as well before it was just like on our dining room table. And then as for the gift for purchases, I was right. It is $160. So you get both the cardboard thing and then the amusement park one. So they are really cute. Whoa, never actually really seen the dinosaurs before. Look at that one. Coochie Coo. Coochie Coo. Coo. He's a good dinosaur. Oh, you like the dinos? I do. I want them. Yeah. See why kids like them. They're so cool. That one's scary. This one's just like, just hanging out. Triceratops. I like the T-Rex thing. I don't know what it is, but it has like a fin, so I don't think it's a T-Rex. So the name of the company is called Bison. Do you know why? Because when you go hang out with the dinosaurs, you have to say bye to your son. <laughs> just made up. It was a bad one. Ooh, so they have the orchid and succulents here. I love the succulents. I love the orchid. I haven't built them yet, but I'm trying to do a build stream very soon on these. I just want them displayed, but Ross said that he would take them to his office. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think I want them in my display room. And then down here we have the new Starry Night. I love this set, but I will say the build for it was absolutely terrible. All of these plates in the back, like that's just bag five. This whole backing to it, all those like blue stripes kind of things and it just took forever. It's really difficult because they're all like different shades of blue, but it is beautiful and I'm excited to hang it up in my house. Ooh, and then the T-Rex breakout here. I just started building this on stream this week. I got almost done with the dinosaur. That's very close. And then I built the car and that's that's pretty much as far as I got. <laughs> I build very slow. Oh, and there it is built. Looks so good. And then look at the rest of the creator expert kind of 18 plus area. I've been thinking a lot more about how much fun I had building this Jurassic Park Jeep slash Ford Explorer, but the vehicle was really fun to build. And I'm thinking like, maybe I should pick up a car. Maybe not these, these aren't what I'm as into, but like the truck would be really fun. I've had my eye on this for a while. I never picked it up. I love those curved elements so much. Like everything about it just looks very slick, very smooth. I have seen some issues 
that people have mentioned about like the red colors not being perfect like there's a little bit of this coloration piece to piece so i am a little bit hesitant because of that but the design is fantastic and that might be on my list soon oh and then for build a minifigure check out this one i don't even know what's new or not but look at that like what accessory around his head what is this like pie or something like a chocolate cake i don't know but it's such a fun minifig i kind of want it Plus the legs are dual molded. That's just insane. There's some owls in here. That's so cool. I usually don't check out the build a minifig stuff, but I heard that there were new pieces. I don't really know what's new, but these are really nice. Like tons of dual molded legs. That's exciting. Like a cowgirl bandit kind of thing. Pretty cool. These sets are really fun too. I like those. And I'm not actually sure where Ross wandered off to, but now I'm back at the Lego Star Wars section. It doesn't look like they have the set that he wants in stock right now. And it even says over here like, the items currently out of stock so that's kind of a bummer we really wanted some more of the purple clones but maybe we'll just order them online oh found ross what up they don't have your set in stock sorry my life huh sorry <laughs> they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get but i do really like how they displayed these different dioramas these look really nice like on the black boxes like that i'm not really a huge fan of this style of build it looks great it brings in new fans you I really know like the the dagobah one the yeah. Dagobah one is yeah. cool. We have that one. We haven't built it yet, but I do like that one. So Ross talked about getting the Star Destroyer. What are you thinking? We well, have it in VIP stock. Points. Double VIPs next month, so that's when we'll, we'll get it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have our revenge. Now let's check out the pick-a-brick wall. Something really exciting that they have are these window panes. And last time I was here, or a few times ago, I think I got a bunch of these like circular window things. I don't know if they still have them on the wall, so I'm glad that I picked them up when I did. But now I have a bunch of like empty windows without panes. So I want to get some of those. Something else I saw were these chrome cone pieces. I don't even know what to do with them, but I love that like silvery chrome color. So I'm really trying to brainstorm and figure out how I could use that piece. These have been really useful. We actually used a bunch of these pieces in the Muppets theater or like the Friends theater to allow the minifigs to actually sit down because Friends don't have like studs on their butt. So if you want the minifigs to sit down, then you have to use some sort of stud. They also have quite a large number of bricks and pretty big plates down there. All those white plates would actually be pretty handy. We're doing the mills system in our city. So all these big pieces come in very handy. They get used very quickly though so it gets pretty expensive these are a really pretty color though i don't even know what this color is it's obviously like a blue or sand blue or i don't think it's sand blue it's some sort of color blue but i just love this it would look really good for buildings like if i had some bricks of this color i could definitely do some cool stuff with it in disney world these i got like half a cup full last time i don't really know how to use these so please like give me ideas in the comments and in these as well we have like two full pab cups of these just hanging out so definitely don't need them but really cool pieces to see here so some other pieces i'm considering are these gold ones as well like i do have a bunch of windows that don't have like window panes so i could kind of use that if i wanted to also these tiles i got a bunch last time but i'm thinking about picking up some more they're just really handy it's really good for like the forest to add some texture you can put like a little gray stud on it to make it look like rocks oh and then these giant plates down here these would be so useful because any large plates are just really expensive to find so if you're able to get them on the pad wall i think that's worth it these are almost a little bit too big to find here just because it's hard to fit them into like a circular cup but i might fill up my cup with a few of those as well what are you thinking about the rob patmobile it still just looks like a dodge charger the movie made me really like it though i kind of want it but at the same time you could get a quinsen zon quint i think you said that right yeah oh and here's an up close view of the gift with purchases that are currently going on i believe they go through the end of the month yeah till the 30th so you still have time there's this really cute little cardboard creation one. I like the little toy soldiers there. I guess it's like soda to the side. It's just really cute, like all the little details. I love it. Plus his cat has room in the back to like go exploring with him. This one's obviously not as cool as that one, or at least I don't think it is, but it is nice to have like a little amusement park ride. Plus the monkey throwing a banana is fantastic. Oh, and then over in Friends World, we have the Friendship Tree House. I have one of these in my collection and I need to build it. I'm thinking about doing a rebrickable version. I saw it and it looks really good. So stay tuned for a build stream on that. I'm kind of nervous because like, doing a bigger build like that, especially a rebrickable, is kind of overwhelming with so many pieces, but I'll figure it out. The Main Street Buildings, I actually just added a second one of this set.
set to my city, I kind of just like put them behind what's already there. It looks really good. It doesn't look mirrored. I was really worried that it would look kind of weird. Speaking of Lego City, I'm actually considering getting this one and adding like a little space area. Like imagine Mission Space or something like that in Disney World. I think that would be really good. Plus this building here, it would look really nice and colorful and fun. I don't really like how clear the bottom is. Just like being able to see through the windows is kind of weird, but I could put like people in there or statues to make it look more like a display, I think. But yeah, I am really considering picking this one up today. I've been talking about it for a while, so I might actually commit today. Would you build this? So I built pretty much what they had. So I wasn't interested in these knights. The sheriff looks cool and I love the printed piece that comes with it. Oh, wow. The yeah. Wanted sticker. Oh, it looks like the hamburglar. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> well, then there's the hamburglar. Oh, yeah. It's like oh, McDonald's yeah. themed. Kiss and Kate Marlet. All right, so we just filled up our pab cup. We got tons of weird pieces in here. All right, Ross, were we successful? I guess. We spent money. Yeah? And we bought Lego. Yeah, I mean, I got a set that I've been after for a really long time. We got some stuff for the Lego City, always very important. We run out of stuff so fast. And then, of course, pick a brick as well. We got, like, a ton of really weird pieces, but we're going to try to do, like, a fun little themed space area in the city, so... Stay tuned for that. I need to do a city update first though. I've like worked a lot on Disney. Back into the Texas desert. Eat water. Atmosphere. Oh my gosh, our car is so hot. Okay, so we're gonna do a car haul. Car haul. First up, y'all know we have a Lego city. We're trying to make more progress in there. Thus, three base plates all on sale from the Lego store. These still have the plastic on them. So they were only like six fifty instead of eight dollars. I'm pretty excited about the the new paper ones. It actually feels really nice, like the paper really ones. Good. We saw them in there originally. We we're gonna get them, and at checkout, uh, the guy told us like, "Oh, we actually have some blue ones in plastic, and they're a little bit on sale because they're trying to they're trying to get rid of them, so they only have the paper ones now. So that's pretty exciting. I really like where they're going out with this whole like paper wow. thing. So now we can buy paper plates at the Lego <laughs> store. Next up. Pab cup! This little tiny baby pab cup. I think this is the first time I ever got one this small, but let me just try to walk you through what all is in here. Some chrome little cone pieces. I got some of those gold windows. Um, these chrome weird things that go on a car. I don't, like, they were just chrome, so I got them. Um, these printed calculator register things. Those were kind of cool. It's like two by two little, what are you doing? Why are you doing? <laughs> I was being enthused. Oh, I'm good. And then these blue snots. I got some of those as well as like white dot things, but they're all that shape of dots. So it's like a little bit different. I thought it'd be cool to like dress up the buildings, you know, like along the sides for like, I don't know, decoration. You don't decoration. want them to be naked buildings. You don't want them to be naked buildings. They have to be dressed up. Oh, and then these weird round ones. I don't even know what that is. but a dish, just... satellite. So oh. that way your minifigures can have satellite cable. Oh, and then we got some palm fronds. You can kind of see those in there, like the giant ones from the boutique hotel. We got oh, like three palm? or four of those. Palm fronds? I think so. Palm tree leaves. Palm tree leaves. I don't know. And then some teal windows for all those gold pieces to go into. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, so two more things here. One of them being the giant set we bought. Look at this. Olivia's Space Academy. Is that the right name? Yes, it is. Look at it, it's $70, but check out that space shuttle. Like everyone at the Lego store, all the employees were like really enthused by the space shuttle. It's kind of like the budget discovery shuttle, you know, it just like has all these really nice curved pieces. Like check that out there, curved, curved pieces, curved pieces. It's just beautiful, so I'm excited for that. So wait, this is Olivia's Space Academy? Yeah, they're so like, about space. Are like the friends and friends like major venture capitalists, like they all have like crazy businesses. <laughs> Like, it's ridiculous. She owns Where did they own get a Space shuttle? Academy. Like, what? Friends okay. lore gets really crazy, but I'm just always amazed at how much money these friends have at their disposal. Like, who owns a Space Academy? Olivia. Olivia, yeah. <laughs> the building here, I want to include it and, like, have it be, like, a separate building in the Lego City. Like, basically just have all of this on one mills plate. Anyways, we also got this gift with purchase. Woo! The little one. We didn't want to spend 160 There wasn't really that much that we wanted, so... Yeah, we just stopped at 90. But yeah, this one is really cute. It's, you know, it's not my favorite gift of purchase, but free is free. I really like it. There's two minifigs, which is really nice. And then like the little monkey throwing bananas is just, it's perfect. I'm gonna go bananas. Yeah, that's our little haul for today. Thank you so much everyone for hanging out with us, coming to the Lego store with us. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to like that smash button, hit that subscribe thing for notifications, ding the bell, ring, ring the thing, call, call the worm. I don't know. Early bird gets the worm. Bye.